Now, in, in, in other types of breast cancer, there's also been progress as well. Uh, in HER2 positive breast cancer, there's been a few new drugs uh, um, that have been um, uh, that came into research and publications in the last year or two. So um, last year, I was in San Antonio one of the, in one of the major breast conferences, uh, and there are two drugs that, that everyone was really excited about. We already have quite a few drugs that we use in HER2 um, quite effectively, and it's really changed the whole prognosis and, 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 and treatment plans for, for patients with HER2 positive, which was one of the worst prognosis HER2, uh, breast cancers, and, and now they're at least equivalent to the uh, estrogen receptor positive breast cancers due to these treatments like Herceptin and uh, the Nacidus Jedi and Katsila, um, which are now the standard first and second line. Katsila was particularly interesting because um, of that smart mechanism that uses a combination of uh, monoclonal antibody uh, and chemotherapy, which is combined to sort of targeted uh, um, smart drug so that, 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 that the large molecule is given intravenously, but then it finds its way to the breast cancer cell and attaches selectively to the breast cancer cell and, and sort of avoids the healthy cells. Um, and brings with it, uh, uh, with the, uh, it linked to, to, the, to the molecule, a very toxic chemotherapy, which normally could not be given as a, as a drug on its own because of the side effects. But because it's delivered so selectively through the antibodies, it only works in the, in the cancer tissue and, um, and, and gives really good results with a, with a, with a fairly low toxicity. Um, but also in the HER2, there's another drug coming as well uh, that, that, was, um, that was also published uh, last year, and hopefully we'll have that in Australia. We do have a couple of trials uh, that are using that drug, uh, including one in PA hospital. Um, but um, um, apart from that, that combination, there's, a, there's additional HER2 drug called Tecatinib, which was also presented, which also had really good, uh, good effectiveness. So hopefully we're going to have at least two more uh, treatment lines for HER2 positive breast cancer and at least one more for the triple negative from these targeted drugs in the next couple of years.